Welcome to board report number 28. We have a lot to report on today. We're going to talk about the 8th grade trip. We're going to talk about our s'more solar oven. Our report we had with iSchool for our finals. I, or a first in math update. Our perfect attendance, one of our front runners. And our bacteriophage. What do you have 8th graders? My name is Emma Blake and I'm in 8th grade. Yesterday on our field trip we went to Raritan Valley Community College and we listen to two genocide survivors and one motivational speaker. My name is Ashley Labar and I'm in 8th grade and the first speaker we had was from the Rwanda genocide and the second was from it was a Holocaust survivor. Well, I'm Devin Pagish and I'm in 8th grade and we had a motivational speaker come in and he was this high energy guy who like told us to be nice to everybody and he told us about how he Rate, like got 8,000 pairs of shoes and donated them to kids in Africa and just an all around like high energy guy and told us to treat people the way you'd like to be treated. And I'll tell you what, the teachers are trying to promote to get Mr. Williams in here to speak to the K through 8 kids next year. Looking forward to that. The s'more ovens, s'more solar ovens. Yes. Um, my name is Skylar and I'm in sixth grade. In our science class, we built solar ovens and first we started to research and design. Then we needed to find a way to trap heat inside of our oven so that it would actually cook and melt your s'more. So basically how it works is you get your s'more and you put it inside the solar oven and then you close it up and the light from the sun will reflect off of the tin foil here and then it'll bounce off because there's tin foil inside as well and it'll bounce off and it'll soon create heat which will heat, the, heat up the s'more creating a solar oven. Yesterday we had plenty of heat, plenty of chocolate, graham yes. crackers, marshmallows, but I think we were short on napkins. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and everyone, I think, no, everyone sure. kind of took a different yeah, it got, got pretty, to the pretty project. Big, big. And but that was a great project. The s'mores tasted definitely. great. Definitely. Ms. Gayton, interview with iSchool yesterday. How did it go? Uh, I'm Ella, and I'm in sixth grade. And yesterday I went to the iSchool interview because we submitted a video to iSchool for $1,000, which would be amazing for us to win. We did win last year, and we had the interview yesterday with one of the guys from iSchool, and he said that he really liked what we were doing, and it was a huge success. So I personally think that we have a great chance. Great today. job. One of the final two. Thank you for all you do, and it's a Looking forward to the announcement on the 18th. First in math, front runner, the leader, with over 10,000 points, I believe. Yes. What do you have? Uh, hi, I'm Mason in sixth grade. Um, uh, first in math is a math site. Um, it's called www.firstmath.org. It is um, a game that is very competitive. Miss Fran did put a board right outside of our math room. And uh, there's like um, things, skill levels like rookie, scholar, and then the highest is grand champion. Are you grand champion? I yes, I am. You were grand champion with about half a dozen people nipping at your heels trying to catch yes, it. Yes, the closest is only like 800. 800 points away, so don't relax. Keep yeah. looking forward. Nice job. Now, we have a new perfect attendance thing going. And I'll tell you what, you're this week's winner for a gift certificate. What are you hoping for? I'm hoping to get the winning prize at the end. Winning prize, you think you have another, a little over a month to go. Do you think you could make it every single day to school the rest of the year? Mm -hmm. Okay. She is our month of April outstanding attendance winner. And they, for I understand, somebody who's highly competitive and does not want to miss school because she wants one of the grand prizes in June. I think we have some other people at this table, too, who want the prize. So we're looking forward to that. Good job. Keep up the great work. And our last one, bacteriophage. Um, my name is Michaela and I'm in seventh grade and in our science class we were learning about uh, different viruses and how they can affect uh, different cells. This specific type of virus carrier is called a bacteriophage and it affects bacteria. Um, it's parasitic and the different parts of it are its head, the genetic material is inside the head. Um, this is the body, the legs, and then the injectors down here. But what happens is it attaches to a bacteria and it injects its genetic material so it can multiply and then release more bacteria. And how it works is say, use the bacteria, bacteriophage would attach and then spray him with his genetic material. You are very kind. <laughs> And that is board report number 28. Thank you all for coming out, and until next time, enjoy.